no Philippine university made it to the top 100 of the 2024 Times Higher Education Rankings for Asia. Ateneo was still the highest, though, ranked local university, but it actually tumbled from the 84th place in 2023 to the 401 to 500 bracket this year. And here to talk to us about that big drop, we have with us Ateneo de Manila University President Father Bobby Yap SJ. Magandang gabi po, Father. Welcome to the big story. Father Bobby, to be honest, as an Atenean, <laughs> this, this statistic hurts me. <laughs> She's been mourning since yesterday. Yes. Yeah, but uh, we're still number one, by the way. But, <laughs> but can you explain to us what happened here? What do the numbers show? Is it um, we pointed out yesterday about the focus of this study being research? Is it just um, that? Uh, is is it, a, is it a deviation from the usual um, standard for uh, the schools? The assessment, the assessment of the data. What happened here? Before I answer that, can you allow me just to say that I'm, I'm still very pleased that we're still a top-ranked university locally, <laughs> and that's a good thing for us. Uh, and I'd really like to thank our faculty, our students, for all their hard work and the excellent achievements that they had. I told you we're the optimists. Yeah, <laughs> we, are, we are quite optimists. We have to look at the bright side. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, as you explained, uh, the THE world ranking, university rankings are, are really a research ranking. It's, it's really based. If you look at their criteria, about 60% is really the research output. And uh, the, it's not only just doing the research, but it's really uh, how much you publish, and you publish also in peer-reviewed journals. Uh, it's not in any journal that you can publish. And then also how much your research is cited, how much impact does it have, and what is the research reputation of the university. So it's really a very research-based ranking. And um, the the key thing with compared to last year and this year is that they, they did revise the the criteria that they had, and uh, it was sort of expected that because of the new criteria, the revision, that uh, we would uh, we would decrease and we decrease significantly. The other part also is that uh, in the previous ranking last year, uh, there are certain papers that you are allowed to include, to be included, and you can include them for five years. Previously, we had some papers, we had some faculty who were able to publish in, in very prestigious journals, like our School of Medicine published in The Lancet, which is a international journal, and, and that was included and highly cited and highly considered. Uh, but this year, uh, we have fewer of that, and so that the, the fall of, of, uh, of, in fact, all the universities, including UP and La Salle, uh, to to the level. It's really because it's a very research ranking, and it, it shows us that uh, really Philippine universities are just really starting to to strive to become research universities. And having said all of that, Father, I was just wondering if uh, Ateneo de Manila University, maybe other universities here in the Philippines, are actually considering putting you know more emphasis on research in that segment. Um, is that a anything that's in the near future for higher learning institutions or specifically yes, in uh, Ateneo? What, what I'd like to say first of all and emphasize this is that uh, for us in Ateneo, rankings do not define us. Uh, the rankings do not define us as a Jesuit university. It is mission that defines us uh, and what we can do so that we can form men and women for others. Uh, who will uh, serve society, who will be a force for good. That's the measure that we really want to have, the indicator, the criteria that we want to be judged. It is mission that defines us. If other, allow that me said, to though, ask... the mission oh. that we have is, uh, involves teaching, mm. it involves formation, it involves outreach, and it involves research. And clearly, the, this, this partic this, the comparison with other world universities and Asian universities really also really shows that we do have to invest more resources into research. And uh, the key thing of what we can do is really, uh, what, what else can we do to really build a research culture, a research ecosystem in our universities? What incentives can we give? And, uh, and one of the key things really is uh, uh, in other countries like the US, in the UK, in other countries, in almost all the countries are the outside, uh, research is funded by government. It's not funded through the tuition income that you have. Uh, there is some external funding that we get, but it is not up to the level that other countries spend on research on. So if there's anything that government can do 
it is really to be able to say, yes, uh, we will have funding and we will provide uh, resources so that uh, we can really fund the research that we need. How hopeful are you that the government will actually, you know, grant more money for research in the face of all of these education problems that we are facing right now? Yes, that's correct. Uh, there are really more uh, basic uh, issues that we have to face. The, the PISA results, as we know, with basic education is very alarming. And uh, the learning deficits that we have because of the pandemic, there are certainly other priorities. But, but uh, I, I just came, I joined the Education Commission too, the EDCOM 2 uh, study tour. We visited higher education universities in the U.S. And there, there was a lot of uh, examples, models of how we can support research much more. Uh, that study tour was really to focus on looking for models about how we can deepen the research of universities. Uh, I was with the president of UP, the president of La Salle, and several two senators, several congressmen, members of EDCOM too. So there is some sense that yes, we we have a lot of problems in the education sector. Maybe this part is not a great priority. But if for the future, for the medium term, for the long term, for the country, we do have to start investing in 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 these uh, in this, the resources that we need to really strengthen ourselves as research and and also research that's not just for 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 journals that we put on the shelf and gathers dust, but we want to have research that will really have impact on the social problems that we have. Father, um, I, I'm not quite familiar about the research culture in Ateneo, but. Who does the research? Uh, which journals do you submit? Is it the, 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 the ones taking their masters? Is it the professors or the college students? So, what uh, research ang sinasubmit po ninyo? It's really the research by the faculty. Research by the faculty. Uh, and uh, they, they go and they, get, uh, they have projects and they, they publish. Mm -hmm. And uh, that to say that we have been able to achieve it, like last year we did very well, we were number 86, I think, showed you that, that there, there is good research done by faculty. Uh, and we really try to support it. We have uh, programs for our the people who just finished their PhDs. We, we have support for them so that they help, help, help get them published. And of course, the, our graduate school, which is, not, uh, which is about 2,000 students, we also try to help them so that they can really engage in the research. But to answer your question, uh, it is really the faculty that gets involved in the research. So, and uh, surprisingly also, well, not, maybe not, but uh, some undergraduates also do excellent research that even they're still undergraduates, they get published already mm, in these very mm -mm. Uh, peer-reviewed journals, index journals. So that's another positive thing that's there. So this year, Father, uh, what was the bigger problem? Was it a funding issue? Was it a, 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 there wasn't enough time? Was it a lack of resources, lack of people uh, writing? What was the bigger issue here? I, I think it's really uh, the, the lack of production. And as I said, it's not only just research. You have to get it published and mm -hmm. in, in high quality journals. And you have to get cited. Other researchers must cite you. Uh, and then the research must have impact. So the, the research standards of the rankings are, are quite tough and quite high. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we need to get more involved and we need to mm -hmm. provide more incentives that support research like that. So yeah, in some sense, it's resources, it's funding uh, that, that would be necessary. As I said, in other countries, it's really supported by government. Mm. I was wondering, Father, if time was uh, a factor <clears throat> also in terms of research papers. I mean, we did just come from a pandemic and long lockdowns. Did the faculty members perhaps have more time to focus on the research during the pandemic vis-a-vis -vis now when things are opening up again oh, would that be a factor or is it really a funding yeah, thing it, it could be a factor but but with the the rankings you i think you notice in the report there are universities that are called reporter status because you need a minimum of research output to qualify for the rankings mm. and those about 10 universities in the philippines who are still on reporter status that means they're they're still accumulating the the research output that they have so that they can qualify to be ranked the five universities that are already there means that they do have the, we have met the minimum over the past five years that we have enough research output to qualify so it, it does take time uh, but certainly the the pandemic uh, could have also uh, dampened the uh, slow slow down the process also
Well, it's good. I think that we now have zoned in on a potential uh, huge area for improvement, uh, re research it is, uh, mm. and we do hope uh, there will be more investments right. uh, for all yeah. universities. Yes, for all <laughs> maraming, maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for hey, joining us. Ateneo, the Middle University President, Father Bobby Yap, SJ.